Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to do week four of the August weekly challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this prom. It is a premium prom. I haven't done it before yet, apparently. So let's, let's take a look. Candy Crush, a game that I played a little bit, like, I don't know how many years ago, but I think my, I wonder if my parents still play. But anyway, uh, yeah, this question is about implementing a basic elimination algorithm for Candy Crush. So given M by N integer array, Represent the grid of candy where brought to by is the i sub j um, represents the type of candy. A value of board of i j is equal to zero if that cell is empty. Okay, so do, 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 you crush, 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 crush. Okay, anyway, uh, this, <laughs> uh, it apparently got a lot of negative scores for some reason. But, uh, okay, so you need to restore it by a state of the game. Okay, if three of the Crush them all at once. These position by crushing candies according to the following rule. What does that mean? I don't know that I know the rules, but okay. Seems like it's going to be an implementation heavy problem, though. Not, not much algo. So let's let's uh, see if we can do it together. Okay, so this is the initial board here. Uh, huh? Where does the, the one come from? Um, they give an example, but it, but they're just like random arrows, and they don't have words. You have words; you can use them. It's fine. Okay, let's see. If three of the can adjacent vertically or horizontally crush them all at once, uh, these percentage be remember. After crushing all candies simultaneously, if an empty space on the board has candies on top of itself, then they drop. Okay. After the above step, there may be exist. Is that how candy? I don't feel like I would. I don't remember much about Candy Crush, but I feel like that's not how that game works. But maybe I'm just wrong. It's been a long time. Then we turn to current board. Okay. So basically, you're just trying to get like vertical. Uh, yeah, you're just trying to remove stuff and then kind of simulate, right? Okay. I mean, I think that's fine. Uh, I don't think there's anything tricky about this per se. But... Let's think about what the worst case scenario would be, right? Um, hmm, don't know. Like, is this going to be some expensive thing? Uh, fifty by fifty. Oof. Oof. Do 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 do. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure that I know, to be honest. But this seems like a very annoying problem, to be frank, um, for implementation-wise. Like, I don't think it's hard. I think everyone understands it, but... But yeah, um, how many times... Mm, I'm trying to see, uh, think if there's a, an upper bound, right? So if... So there's 50 by 50, so that's... 2500 cells if you if for whatever how each one removes was it three three at a time so that means you have to do 800 iterations ish so 800 times 25 i guess that's like roughly less than a million or roughly a little bit more than or it's about like two million right so i guess that's fine complexity wise if you're slick about it, which I don't know if I will be, but you'll see. All right, so yeah. Um, so, okay. What are we doing? Uh, I mean, I think we just kind of see... Uh, uh, I mean, it is what it is. So, or uh, um, crushed, maybe? And then now this is the annoying thing, right? I think the beauty of this three in a row thing is that you actually don't need to ex like do anything that clever uh, at the cost of doing duplicate work. And I'll show you what I mean, but we'll see if this is fast enough. If we have to optimize, we have to optimize, right? So, uh, uh, so basically, if if do, 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 board of x y is equal to board of x y plus one. Is equal to board of x y plus two, then crushed of x y, even crushed of x y plus one, even crushed. Of. 
x y plus two is equal to true. And this works because if you go to the if you go to the next space, it will still be true. So if you have four in a row, you just can't do this comparison twice. There's some like overlapping logic, and maybe it could be better. But we'll we'll start with because um. For this particular problem, I anticipate the implementation be the really annoying, tricky part. So I want to make sure that, um, at the very least, you know, let's get a, a, a even if a TLE is, which I don't know, time limit exceeded, um, you know, let's at least get a working solution and then we can figure out how to optimize afterwards, right? That's not prematurely optimized for that reason. But, uh, but yeah, and then now we do the same thing, but for the other uh, thing. Yeah. And you could probably write this like in a cleaner for loop way, but eh. but uh, it's fine, I think. For now. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, so that's good enough for the question. Right. And then now we have to remove stuff. How do we want to remove stuff? I mean, we, the easier way is just to create a new board. But. And then now. For. So we want to do column by column because things drop. I think. X in range of R, right? So then now old Y is equal to zero, maybe. Um, oh no, old X, sorry. Oof. Yeah, so then here while board of old X is, um, is equal to zero. Oh, uh, uh, and of course, we have to make sure that it is within bounds. Uh, and then if OX is greater than R, oh, then we break. Otherwise, eh, maybe this should be default to zero, I suppose. Otherwise, new board of XY is equal to old board of OXY. And then after that, we increment. Yeah, this should be fine. I mean, it, it may, it may all, I'm just thinking about what happens if this goes over R, but then I think in the next loop it should be fine. Yeah. And then afterwards, board is equal to the new board. And maybe that's good enough. We'll see. It may also just be infinite loop because I have some, oh yeah, it should be infinite loop because I forgot to, uh, <laughs> I forgot to have a breaking condition. Whoops. Can I, I can't even minimize this. I have to wait for it to, okay, yeah, uh, of course. Um, so this breaks if nothing fell. Also, yeah, no, this is fine, but. And nothing fell if board is equal to new board, I suppose. But we can also if nothing got crushed, I suppose. So yeah, uh, so <laughs> wearable name is tough part again. Eh. Uh, I, I think I'm just going to go ahead done. Done is equal to true. And then if something got crushed, then done is equal to false. We want to do one more iteration. Uh, and then if, if done, then we break. Um, so we don't have to do all the other parts. All right, let's, let's try again. Hopefully this time it actually terminates. Like, like I said, I, I do worry a little bit about... Um, uh, uh, you know, this problem because of its implementation. I don't think there's anything uh, algorithmically that annoying. Uh, it's just, you know, simulate and crush. But uh, but it's very easy to have typos as well, as I, well, I mean, imagine. So here, one thing that you can do as a trick is just do it for like two iterations and then see what it gives you, right? Or just even one iteration and see if it's at least simulating one thing correct. Um, the problem here is that it's kind of really hard to read. Um, seems like my output is the same as the input. So that means that after one iteration, it doesn't do anything. Uh, and that maybe be, 
it's true because I didn't do anything. I just realized, like I did stuff about crushed, but I didn't. Um, I, it's supposed to be here as well. Uh, if this is true, uh, so we want to skip it. If now this this part is the wrong part. We don't skip it if the original board is zero. We we, we skip it if it's crushed. I, I I messed up the condition on that one. Okay, let's try again. At least it should be crushing some stuff. Yeah. All right, let, let's try one iteration at least. But but you can see the the reason why I was able to kind of find that, and I didn't I don't know that I made a good job showing it, is that I saw that nothing got crushed right. So that's why it was an issue. Uh, here. Oh, I see. I, I messed up the X, Y. Oh, I mixed, messed up what's on top and what's on the bottom, though. They tell you on example one. So I think I I crushed upwards almost, but that's fine. That's a easy, I mean, I don't know if it's easy, but it is. There's definitely a way to fix it, and I don't really have to even change these parts because that's a metric. So I just have to change this part. So what are we doing instead? So we start at R minus one. So while this is greater than zero, we do, 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 do. If this is less than zero, we break and then we just subtract it. Hopefully this is good enough. Uh, like I said, very easy to make mistakes, so I'm not super confident about it. Uh, yeah. Still, hmm, am I doing this right? Maybe. Mm. No, I mean, I think this should be okay, but what, what am I doing wrong? So the reason why I'm a little bit awkward is that um, you can see that there are zeros here at the bottom, right? So at the very least, it should crush down. So that means that I'm doing something really wrong. Well. Um, is it this part? I'm starting at... Yeah, I'm starting at the zero, so of course this is going to be wrong. Whoops, I forgot to change this as part of my fixing the bottom thing. Uh, okay, so this, I mean, it's not the final answer, obviously, but I can see that at least the top, like, some stuff fell down. Uh, this is very hard to see, to be frank. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, I mean, I'm just being lazy, so uh, if this doesn't... Still is not going to the right answer, I'll just write another visualization. Uh, seems like it's taking it a long time, so it's probably not. Uh, hmm. So yeah, so let's visualize one step then. Um, and sometimes it's easy, it's worth um, writing a helper function. So yeah, two, three, four, so we print it a row at a time is what I want to do so that you kind of see them line, line up a little bit better. Yeah, so kind of like this bit. Okay, so you see stuff for us now. So after one iteration, it seems to be what we expect. So so maybe our simulation is right. I'm, I'm looking at, at the... Uh, I'm comparing to example, so it seems like we're right, but maybe my my loop isn't done. Or my loop isn't good. Oh, I know. Oh, that is silly. <laughs> I have to check that. I mean, that this isn't zero. That's why. So uh, yeah, report of x y is not zero because that's just empty and and it will always match some zero. I guess is is why. Um, so let's add that check. Ah, okay, there we go. Uh, a couple of silly mistakes, or just, uh, uh, you know. Uh, we'll keep this just in case we need it later. Uh, just, uh, ah, there we go. Cool. Uh, yeah, what is the complexity here? Um, mm, I think it is going to be in the worst case, it's going to be n squared. Though I don't know if it's easy to generate generate that case. And when I say n squared, I mean the size of the input square, right? Quadratic. So technically, it's the size of the input is fifty by fifty, because um, that's all times c. So n is equal to all times c in this case, kind of. And so it will be that square. Um, I don't know that. I mean, I don't know if that case is reachable. So maybe you can prove a tighter upper bound, but 
but off my head that's what it would seem like to me in that like every every iteration you remove three elements or something right and then like it cascade three down and then so forth i don't know how to construct that not gonna lie but i mean you probably could construct it the other way but uh i don't know yeah i don't know but in theory that's what i i would think uh yeah is there an editorial did they tell you about the worst case uh, yeah, that's my complexity. I mean, in place is fine. Eh, not going to look over it in place. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's all I have for this one. There are a couple of silly mistakes, but otherwise I think we actually did pretty okay. Like I just kind of confused up and down uh, and also just forgot about this case. But, but it's, hopefully it showcased my debugging skills a little bit as well. So yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. Have a great week, everybody. I'll see you uh I'll see you soon. Anyway, bye bye.